Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you very quickly how you can speed up animations within Blender. Um, so you can see here that I've got a cube and I've just uh, keyframed it to go along the y-axis from one position to the next over the course of 250 frames. You can see that's quite slow. Um, you may have done all your animations and then think, you know what, I kind of wish just the whole thing was a bit faster. Uh, one way you could do that is you could go into everything and obviously move the keyframes. So if we just grab these keyframes here, move it to 125, it'll go twice as fast because that's half of that frame rate. Um, but you might have, you'll might you have to do that on every single object. And if you've got quite a complex scene and you want the whole thing to just go a bit faster, uh, there are a couple of ways you can do it. You can either render it out at its normal speed, and then in something like Premiere Pro or Sony Vegas, you could uh, shrink it and like speed up within that. But you can actually do it inside Blender before you even render it out. So you see here um, in the Output Properties tab under Dimensions, uh, you've got Time Remapping, and it might be like closed like this. If you click the little arrow here, you see Old and New. You see that Old is set to 100, and then New is also set to 100. So 100 is the default value, and that's just what's, what's reflected here on the timeline. But if you want this to go faster, if we come back here to frame one, we could set this to, say, 50. Now you see it's going a lot quicker, and that's going to be 50% faster. So you see that at frame 125, which is, so 50 is half of 100, and that's half of this timeline here. So 125, it's now there. If you wanted to like do a bit of slow-mo and do it the other way and say 200, so now it'll be twice as slow. So it, it'd take 500 frames to get to its end position. So if I go up to 500, then you see that's double. So 200 is double 100, so it's double the length. Um, but yeah, that's just a little quick tip on how you can speed up or slow down your animations without having to go in and change every single keyframe. Hope you found that useful. If you did, drop a comment below and let me know. Um, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. And thanks for watching. Bye.